Again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I am going to make up myself a batch of colors to use a shovel in or maybe I'll change my mind and use my dustpan but I'm going to start with a bunch of colors in, in my stainless steel cream pitcher. I pulled out that was a dioxidine purple, that's a folk art color shifting turquoise, this is a acrylic enamel without shimmer. I'm just going for colors I like. I've shaken most everything because you need to make sure that the flow trawl that may, may have separated out isn't going to be a problem. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep picking colors out of my, they're kind of oceany colors, keep, and then I change it up by putting something else in there. I'm just going to keep putting colors in until I get tired of doing so. And some of these are a couple of years old and I haven't used them and it's just time to have some fun today. A little art therapy. That's something I put golden ir iridescent pearl fine as a shimmering agent in there. This is my folk art color shifting purple, which I think I shook in any case. So I don't know how far I need to go, but I can always change my mind and add more colors. And I could put these right out in that dish and shovel them up. And that might be an interesting experiment that I hadn't thought about. But so far, I'm liking what I see in there. I'm thinking about priming my canvas. You know what? I want some more of this blue. I'm thinking about priming my canvas with black and using some of my Anita's White Pearl. That's a wild batch of colors. I want to tell you what. And I didn't put any gold in there, and I didn't put any black or pearl in there. And there really are there really are enough colors in there so that I could choose to put it out. This is something I found at the local resale shop, and this holds a dustpan up. I'm thinking about putting some colors in there and dipping some bamboo skewers in there. I am going to cover my canvas with paint. My 16 by 20 inch canvas with paint and put my glasses on my face and my paint is right here and I'm going to shake that up and hold the top on so I don't get nailed so try and put enough paint on so that my OXO omelet turning spatula can go all the way to the outside and if there are imperfections or lumps of blank in there I can pull it out I want to make a kind of a random nonsensical abstract design to begin with and I may not cover everything perfectly on purpose because I want to throw some of that Anita's white metallic in which I'm pretty certain will sell and I don't know if I'm going to tip or add chain I know I don't have a balloon blow to, blown up so um, I am tempted to take some of that black off there because it seems like I used an overabundance. But it's pretty warm today, so that probably wasn't a bad idea. Which reminds me, I should have turned my fans on because it's ungodly out without them on. So yes, that's a lot of paint. I do have a pair of tweezers. The thicker the paint is, the harder it is to see the imperfections. I'm looking for tweezers and I'm not finding anything but my flat-nosed pair. In a pinch, they'll do, I guess. I recommend the, the pointy ones. Much, much better. All right, so now I think what I'm going to do is take this ring pour and I'm going to put it right into my shovel because I can. And if I can get any gold out of this, I think I'm going to put some of that right in there. I kind of miss the... Um, I can see my green gold from folk art in the picture, but it's not available where I'm at. So I'm going to just give myself a shovel full. And then, because it's fun, I'm going to see how far it'll go and what shapes I can make with the tip. And since I know I can make a puddle, Wherever the weight of the paint is concentrated, that's where the weight of the paint will flow, obviously. 
and just because it doesn't look like anything so far it doesn't mean it won't be something. So I'm just going to go ahead and use where I started as a starting point. Who knows what else I'll get up to. I don't have any idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to have some fun. And I would like to save some of that black background. I do use GAC 800 by Golden as an additive in my pouring mixtures so that um, when the paint dries, it prevents it from cracking. I really want some orange, but I think what I'm going to do instead is just continue on my merry way doing whatever in the way of ribbon pours or ring pours. Sometimes I call them caterpillars when they turn out looking like caterpillars. It's been a while since I did a caterpillar pour. These are great colors. I don't think this was the one for, for orange, so I don't feel too bad about not doing that. As I spread the paint thinner and thinner, it means that I can add more paint without it becoming a problem. I can also use an edge catcher to stop paint from flowing away. And then when it flows down, I can rock my canvas so it covers the edge. I can also, lately I've been taking it off the edge catcher and putting it back in a different position, which I may do still in a minute. I kind of want all of that to go down that way. I could definitely put some more gold in there, but um, I think I'll wait and see what's going to happen. I like how the magenta and the purple are turning out and there aren't no there are no rules for me at the moment other than the fact that if I don't take that paint off that edge catcher quickly it will probably dry and if I do I can use it just like so and I'm gonna wipe off that spatula so I don't have to throw it in the bucket and it'll be right there where I want it to be when I want to use it again I need more towels definitely all right, so what have I got here? I got pretty blues. I think I want something else, like a lot more turquoise in there because I'm right down to the end and I've got purple and I'm gonna give myself permission to have Three turquoises, the color shifting turquoise, the old art mines turquoise that obviously needed to be shaken up. And then I'm gonna add them right into the place where the purples were and where I dribbled. And I'm still gonna tip. Let's see, I was thinking I would really love my favorite folk art color shifting. I'm going to turn this upside down and see if I can get what's left in the picture to come out into the shovel. Because then I'll use it. Let's see what's going on here. Now I've got chain. I want that edge catcher back. I'm going to lose all my black negative space, unfortunately. I'm going to shuffle this down, slide it right down so that it covers the edge. I still have some black negative space, and I'd like to keep it, but I don't think that's going to happen. Sort of a combination ring pour, ribbon pour, just for the fun of the colors, really and truly. That edge catcher again. The paint creates a seal as it rolls down the side. It doesn't necessarily leak right onto your arm like you would think it would. So this is my challenge and to my decision what I'm going to do next other than shuffle that back into the painting. 
I've got one more edge with some black on it. I kind of want to wipe off my hands. I need some paint over here and I've got it on my edge catcher so I might as well use it. I don't usually do that. I don't usually take a naked spot and uh... <clears throat> all right. So I've got more paint on me today than I'm used to. And I'm going to take my finger and make sure that my edge is covered, even if it's got some, even if it's changing the color. I want uh, to use the paint on that edge catcher. Right there. My Lola Fee silicone mat is going to catch all my paint and uh, one day I'll make a collage with it. I hope I stop threatening it and actually do it one of these days. So anytime I just scrape off the edge of my spatula, this could be a stage one unless I figure out something else I want to do. I really want some of that black back in there and my workspace is feeling a little cramped today for some reason. I'm going to just grab whatever's on the edge catcher, remove it with the spatula and stick it in my voids. Oh, that sounded really bad. Sorry. That's not what I... Mm. Bad brain. It's very windy today. You know what I didn't do? I didn't start the way I thought I was going to start with the um, the white Anita's. I need to clean my hands really quickly. For some reason I'm having one of those days where it's not acceptable to be covered with paint. So what I'm thinking about is doing what I thought I would, was going to do. Although we've got that enamel is making some tremendous cells. Maybe I'll have to rethink this. Maybe I'll just put all of the paint coming off the edge of the canvas onto the tile under my edge catcher so I can scoop it up again. I'm glad I put that um, the folk art iridescent purple. It's color shifting, excuse me. So what do I do now? Is it going to be black? Is it going to be white? Is it going to be green? Maybe it should be green. Maybe I should just go dotty. Because I don't usually go dotty. Well, I guess that's a matter of opinion, actually. Throw a few things here and there. I don't think I've ever just decided to throw some dots in, in random lines like that. And this seems like as good a time to try it as any. The colors are fantastic. I just want to, I really would love to add some kind of definition or uh, dimension. And I think what will do that is if I throw a chain in there. But I kind of like what I've got so much I don't want to take the risk. And if I don't tip it again, my dots will, will not morph. I like them. They're, they're still pretty subtle, actually, which is kind of cool at this point. I got some beautiful shapes and beautiful cells, like I said, from that enamel, from the blue enamel. I haven't put any white in there yet, and this white is dangerous. I need a small cup to put it in. I guess I'll take a shot glass. I'm going to use whatever I can find as far as a skewer with a nice big nubby end on it. Now that blue disappears, unfortunately. And that was the um, Modern Masters. And that's a shame. I guess if I had a much thinner layer of background, I would do what I've done in the past. and just put it over the top. I think I do need some white in here.
but it's going to really draw the eye. And I could do all kinds of mad details, but the truth is that the time limit on the camera is about 20 minutes. And not wanting to do a part two might make that a hard thing. And I didn't set my timer, so I'm going to tell you guys right now that this is Priscilla Patzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And when you share my videos, you help me out. And when you watch them longer, you help me out. When you give me a thumbs up, you help me out. When you leave me a great comment, and you guys do, thank you very much for keeping my morale up. Um, I'm just going to do it everywhere. There are some great facets to this, but I'm not super excited about the level of dimension. I might have to tip, too. I don't like it when the stick drags. I have a suspicion that I'm going to run out of time. They look like bubbles. So maybe they're maybe they're hidden fish. <laughs> we'll call it hidden fish. I know with enough time I could probably get something that I like, but I'm not sure right now what that's going to be. And instead of trying to dot anything, I'm just going to give myself permission if the paint will come out. So anyway, so if you guys decide you'd like to help me out, please check out the end screens for the monthly drawing. There are five paintings in April, of which you can pick one if you happen to be the, the drawing recipient. Oh, I like the gold a lot. I like it a lot, a lot, and it makes me want some orange. I think I could just fill up with gold dots and be very, very pleased. Especially since it's coming out in such a nice way. I wish I could have that blue again. But I don't trust it not to sink away like it has pretty well. So I don't think I've ever just dotted. like this, with colors that are already in the pattern. The enamel is definitely making me happy as far as patterns go. I'm trying not to ram the, the nozzle tip into, my, into the paint. I'm, just, I'm trying to let it drip down on. I really do want some blue though. I wonder if I can get some of this other blue to work. So I will see you guys anon. Please give me a thumbs up if you're still here and you can hear me. <laughs> and uh, check out my Amazon link. At no added cost to you, if you shop there, you help me out. I have two books there. One is called Because I Can and the other is called Unlimited Possibilities, which I tend to believe fluid art is. It's got limitless possibilities. I really want some dark purple again. I'm sure this won't be to everybody's taste, but I think it's fun. And it's probably way past time trying to do it. And it adds the dimension I was looking for. And I don't know what would happen if I tipped. I know that every single one of those little dots would move. And I'm just going to keep going. can't believe I forgot to set the timer. I like that some of the blue is still showing. Now I get to assess what else I might want to do. I don't mind that the gold dendrites. I'm contemplating on putting some black in there, but I think that the uh, the purple works a little better. <laughs> 